saving is so important because we also have to contribute to, the, to reach the climate targets that have been set out by our governments. So it's simply by 2020 we have to save 20% of energy with all our production equipment. And that's why we made Areos. This project started about three years ago. It's a project where we have 12 partners from all over Europe and we deal with sustainable manufacturing. There are many ways on how we can save energy in our production. And the Areos project had the goal of saving energy on a production level, on a factory level, and even on a robot and other peripheral equipment level. Daimler did uh, a lot of efforts the last years uh, about saving energy in the production. So we made several uh, projects with suppliers to save uh, energy, like with KUKA, the new Quantec generation. What we implemented here is uh, like a hybrid car for the production, where every component can give uh, its energy to the other components. That is not possible in an AC grid, or it's not uh, cost efficient yet. We decided uh, we want to change the supply voltage of the robot from a 400 volt AC to a 600 volt DC bus. That enables us to keep the kinematic energy in the system such a smart automation grid always enables us a very efficient usage of renewable energies. That means we can directly use voltaic or wind energy as infeed for the DC grid. The overall efficiency of such an infeed of renewable energy is way more higher than in a classical AC architecture. To enable such a DC grid in a production line, you need several new components. KUKA converted its standard robot controller, which is AC powered today, into a DC powered robot controller. The robot themselves did not need any modifications. When a robot is braking, it can simply push back the energy into the grid and other robots can use it. So in our Automatica cell, we want to demonstrate the energy which is uh, recuperated by the robots with uh, an energy bar. If our uh, energy bar is green, we can see that is uh, the breaking energy of the robots, which stays in the system. If we have high amount of energy wasted or used, then it's red, like in a welding process. In addition to the DC grid that we are going to use in the future for our robots, we also did some research on doing more energy optimal path planning for the robot. So by just changing a little bit the trajectory, by changing a little bit the acceleration profile, we are able to save energy in the order of 10%. And what is more important, we can save the peak power in the order of up to 50 or even 60%. In the beginning, we, uh, before this project, we started working with uh, how, how to optimize the motions of the robot to save energy. Uh, and uh, we've been doing a little bit different technologies to find how we should do it. But then we started this project uh, to collaborate with KUKA and Daimler and we uh, were able to do a significant results. And so we have a simple optimization method that can uh, keep the path how the robot moves but only changing the acceleration a little bit. And then we anyway can save uh, from uh, 5 to 30% of the energy consumption. In this use case, uh, we are actually doing that. So the motions are recorded live, sent to a service that optimizes it live and sends it back. And everything is done in a, in a couple of seconds. So we can do a hand-guided demo where we teach new points every time, we run the trajectory and then rerun it with the optimized motion. It's quite simple to go into a plant and take station by station and optimize them. And it, it doesn't take uh, months, it, it goes really fast and it doesn't really influence the production. With the help of the Areos project, we are able to move towards a more greener factory, to a more energy, resource efficient factory. And what we would like to see from the governments around the world is that they actually now invest into the DC grid so that all the production in the future can benefit from energy savings of about 20 or even 30%. So the results of that project uh, show us that uh, our idea of implementing such a DC grid over a production line can save us a lot of money. Yes, so the project is here to save money for the companies that are producing cars, but it also will help to save our environment. Thank <laughs> you.
Orange Intelligenz. 